Hello guys and welcome to part 3 or 4, I can't remember what part this is now, I'm sure I'll know once I've uploaded them. We just finished Bombs Away, but it doesn't look like it because there's no Pizza Planet icon, Pizza Planet token icon like you have here. And we are now on to Construction Yard. This is probably one of them levels I love and hate at the same time. As a kid it used to fucking terrify me, especially when you get to the top of the Construction Yard and um, some of it's a bit tedious if you fall off and that sort of thing it can be kind of annoying so without further ado let's just get this level over and done with there is plenty of worse levels to for us to encounter so let's count god's blessings with this one early and we'll probably have to skip the cutscenes like always which is a shame because the bonus movie uh, the bonus awards in this for bonus points is the movie clips so I don't know how they do, what they do for the Nintendo 64 version. What do they give you instead? They give you something different. Ah, oh, that music. Do 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 do. And we've got the green laser, green laser straight away. Can't even speak today. Yeah, the reason why uh, the control dies so quickly, I think, is just the battery pack might be on its last legs or something. I don't know. But yeah, hopefully that will hold up a bit longer, and I won't have to quickly recharge the fucking thing. Again, but it's always fun. It's always fun. I think I have a PlayStation 3 control as well, which would actually have a cable that connects to the PC, keeping it constantly charged. And so, yeah, we've got to find four of them little guys, and here is Ham. So let's, let's just murder these guys. <laughs> if I can pick up the coin. The coin pickup detection in this is not very good. It, there should have been some kind of feature that allows you to have coins come closer to you really thinking about it because even as a kid that annoyed me and it annoys me now so it's not oh you know because some people think nostalgia and that sort of thing like, oh you only like this because of nostalgia and that well that's not true at all i don't like um these games at all because of nostalgia i like them because they're a good game they don't let's put it this way these games don't have bullshit DLC, they don't have, um, even though you kind of want them to have DLC so you have more content to play through, they don't have, oh shit, they don't have, uh, they're, they're finished, they're a finished product, they're released working, fixed and finished, and it, you don't have to download anything, you just get the game, You get, well unless you're downloading it digitally but at the time that wasn't available. And bam, you've got a game. You've got a fully working, functioning game with all the gameplay in it and no bullshit DLC or microtransactions or whatever other cancerous garbage there is in, in the video game uh, industry nowadays. Um, so, And to think that this was published by Activision as well. I don't think it was developed by Activision. I think it was published by Activision. So how far they have fallen, you know, especially this year's E3 shows... Shows kind of how far that happened. I mean, look what they're doing. The Black Ops 3 maps, for example. You know, it's just... Just sneaky tactics to get your money. And that's the reason why I love old games. Not because of nostalgia, not because of nostalgia just the time period. It feels as if this is when people made games for the love of it. That's my opinion. Now, this is going to be fun because I am not good at knowing my colours and what to do. So, you've got to drag this uh, pot and fill it with paint. So, let's just, let's just wing it. Let's do red and then blue. See what we make. I do not know what my, what colours make what, I'm afraid. So uh, That's purple. Yep, so we'll take that to the end. This is a bit tedious, I must admit. A little bit boring for people watching, so I do apologise about that. I'll try and make it as entertaining as possible. So now we'll do red and yellow. As a kid, I used to really struggle with this, but I always used to do it. Like, I struggle mentally, like the idea of it. Yeah, that'll make orange. And then I guess... Okay, so if we've done them two colours, I guess we'll just try blue and orange then. And hope for the best. Or did we just do blue and orange? Can't even remember now. I literally can't even remember what we just did. No, green, okay, we've done it. There you go. Garrett! <laughs> Sounds like my step, uh, my dad when he's talking to my stepmom. He goes, "Gurn." That's exact. Fucking hilarious! Oh god. <laughs> I'm sorry, but inside jokes. Now you're aware of it. It's funny. 
If you knew my dad or met him, you would find it fucking hilarious. Oh, I can smell dinner downstairs cooking. Mm -mm. We're having uh, a Sunday, ro uh, Sunday roast on a Tuesday. Yep. I also just went in the garden and picked some strawberries that we've been growing. So we've, for the first time since we've lived here, since 2015, we're actually growing stuff in this kind of big garden. So if you guys actually want to see the garden, I've got quite a few videos that are uh, private or unlisted that you could uh, look for if you want. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, actually, let's to try to do the down the f first layer stuff. I always try and do stuff in a in an order. I don't know whether that's OCD. I don't know whether that's because of, I've got autism. I don't know what it could be, but I'm gonna um, do it in order. Fuck's sake! Pick the coin up, Buzz. Seriously. Okay, we have to get wrenches. Don't ask me why wrenches suddenly appear in the middle of nowhere, but they do. I actually used to struggle with this as a kid, like struggle what to do and where to go for it, but it's actually really easy. Don't know why I used to struggle with it, to be honest. I think it's because I didn't jump through the thing, I used to walk through like this like a freaking idiot. That time goes down pretty quickly though. Oh well, there you go. That's the first Pizza Planet token done. No, the second one, sorry. I just forgot we did the paint. Do 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 the funky jazz nighttime city life music. Yeah, this shit is fucking awesome and catchy and annoying at the same time. I don't know who's losing all their money. Someone's losing all their shekels all around the place. Okay, you can't apparently climb that, even though that looks like it definitely is something that you could climb. Out of here! Fuck off! <laughs> okay, that controls the. Actually, I don't know if I should have done that. No, I shouldn't have done that. It trolled me. I remember that. I remember this happening before. <laughs> Deja vu, pretty much. Oh, maybe. Maybe it has to go down so you can jump on it and then it will come back up again. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Well, that's, uh, lame. I don't know if jumping actually makes anything faster, but... What's that weird sound in the background of the music? It's annoying. Oh, I actually hit it. <laughs> okay, jump a little bit this time. Oh! My freaking god, it didn't jump. I pressed the button and it didn't jump. That was not my fault, that was the game's fault. Probably the controller's fault actually more than the game, because obviously this is not meant to be played on a wireless control. Back in the day you only had like wired PS2 controls, so not only am I using uh, a, an emulator and a different controller, you know. Alright, there we go. I don't ever remember it being that difficult before. Struggling with stuff I should be struggling with. Ooh, doo -doo. Move, thank you. <laughs> uh, move in a way where it doesn't injure me, please. <laughs> and now we've got... What is wrong with this city? The whole city's fine. It's not just Andy and Andy's mum and Andy's neighbourhood. It's the whole fucking city's gone crazy. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze now. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, no, no, it won't come. No, no sneeze is coming. And that does that platform. So, now if we fall, we have a way of getting back up. Don't take the risk. Don't take the risk. I've also got the luxury of not being able to play with a correct camera. So, that's also fun. The coding of this is so brilliant, though. For its time, the way that the platform that you're standing on actually moves is absolutely brilliant. Should we take admire, uh, a, a, a chance to admire the, the, the art of the background? There you go. <laughs> That's over. <laughs> now it's time to murder again. 
I'm Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Universal Oh! Oh, I was gonna miss. Never mind. I tried. We need one more of them little guys. To be honest, I don't think I've... Oh, I don't think I've ever really found all five of them. I've never really tried, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and 100% this game. This playthrough, I want to 100% it. Let's put it that way. Okay. Hop de hoppity skippity doo. Boom, there we go. And we only need about seven more coins and we'll have fifty. Okay, oh well, we found the source of the We found the source of the ticking! We found the If anyone knows that Harry Potter meme. We found the source of the burning hot nails flying out trying to kill Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, they don't look too, uh, normal. <laughs> oh my god! How was... What just happened there? No, none of that made sense. Nothing... None of that just made sense. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm not stupid to your tactics, game. You've learnt... You've learnt who's playing... And you've, you're thinking, right, it's time to screw him up. Uh, move. Jeez, it weren't moving. Platform's bugged. What the hell? Oh. My. God. <laughs> Dude. Let's quickly get away from here, because I know that there's... There he is! No, it's not. <laughs> oh, it was, a, it was a thing for Mr. Potato Head. Actually, we will need to go back down before we get to the top. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, so let's go back. Let's go back down and see Mr. Potato Head. Because we need to unlock something from him. This was a mistake I didn't realise as a kid. And I'd get right to the top and I wouldn't know how to beat the boss. So, this is the way you do it. Try not to get lasered while you're coming over here. Or slip on the water and can't kill the enemy. And thank you. It'll basically open up a disc launcher or whatever the hell it is. And you don't have to come back down here after you've run out of the disc launchers. There is some up on there. Which I also didn't know. So that when I played, I kept coming back down to get more and resetting it. Because I'm a fucking moron. feet are now sinking into the platform. It's not a good sign. I'm Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Universe Protection Unit. Uh, come on. Where's the platform? Where the hell's the platform? Where the hell is it? Wait, do I have to... Oh, wait, I have to jump round, okay. Oh, what? What? Oh, co guys, come on. You saw, you saw that there was a perfectly massive sized gap there to go through. So there was no excuse for that. And I didn't even see that platform there. So there was a, that was lucky. I'm going to have to jump around the whole thing. Whew, Jesus. This game... Is stressful. Oh my god, I forgot I had the disc launcher on. Oh my god, you better grab it, Buzz. Wow! Wow, did you see that? He literally fell off the edge. He fell off the edge for no reason. Is it going to crush us? Is it going to crush us? No! No, it's not going to crush us! And I'm going to have to wait! <laughs> it actually was coded to stop, so in all fairness, the game knew. How have I got eight lives, by the way? How the fuck do I have eight lives? 
That's quite a lot of lives when you think about it. Normally games only start you off with like three lives and you normally lose them within half an hour. Oh well, we're back here again, I guess. No. Oh wait, okay, you can actually go along the side here. What a moron, I didn't even know that. Okay. Game didn't tell me that very well though, so there you go. Okay. Have to wait too long. On here. Wait a few seconds. Jump. Actually, let. Wow. Okay. Land on the actual platform this time. Don't go over the edge. Let's refill our disc launcher. This, I'm just checking now for the little guy. I don't know where he is, the fourth one. So I'm just looking for him right now. See if he's up here. I think he might be up here. Let's get some health as well. I'm not hearing a little... Over here! Over here! Oh, he's probably right on the edge of this platform over here. Makes sense, to be honest. Is he? Yeah, there he is! Well, I'm trying to grab you, but you're not interested in me picking you up, apparently. At least there's a load of health here, but I'm, I'm, I'm using up all the health before I've even fought the boss. Stupid. Alright, here we go. Oh, wait, hang on. There's more disc launcher uh, stuff here, I think. So, this, uh, if it. I don't know if there's a max capacity. Okay, we've got 28 now. That should be enough. I think I'll just try spam him. I'm not sure what I should do yet. But this boss used to terrify me as a kid. I mean, look at it. Look at the. Look at its face! The jackhammer boss! Jesus! And then it chases you and you're like, oh shit! And it has some and it shakes the camera and the speed and all that crap. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm still scared. <laughs> I'm still scared of the fucking thing. I don't know if he'll stop at a certain point. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Or did it? Wait, he can't probably go here. Can he? No, he can't. Now I'm Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Universe Protection Unit. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but... Oh, fuck it, you know. If you don't laugh, you'd cry, I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. This this boss is hardcore, and he got me without even touching me. I need one more coin as well, so let's quickly get this. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. I do apologise for how bad I, for how bad I am at video games. Oh my god! I'm literally walking into each one, but there's no real like way to tell what direction they're coming from. They just—I'm pretty sure they're programmed to just hit you as well. And the boss is already waiting for me, so that's also not comforting. Oh, there we go! <laughs> Note to self, guys: spam. <laughs> Alright, so we've got two more things to hand in after this. So let's go down and let's see if we can land straight on him. Should we see if we can do it? Let's see if we can do it. Oh my. Oh no. Well, that'll be the end of that. I was miles away anyway, so that definitely is the end of that. I was on the wrong bloody side. I was on like the completely wrong side of where he was. Well, talk about navigation failure. Here you go, Mr. Piggy. Go, Thank you. And I have, I cannot remember if I've ever found all five of them little people before, so that's pretty cool that I finally fa finally managed to 100% that. She should be around here somewhere. I actually don't know what kind of toy she is. I'm pretty sure she's... Or he, I don't know if it's a... Is it a... Mum or... Yeah, I think that might be a mum. <laughs> Um, they're from some sort of... They're not Lego, are they? If anyone knows what they are, just put it in the comments below. Anyway, yes, leave a comment on your favourite... 
Whoops, I need to exit the level. I accidentally, I accidentally clicked the wrong thing. Leave a comment on your favourite token of this level, your favourite part of this level, the bit you hated the most of this level, maybe some history from it as a kid that you might have, and um, if you like the music or not. We unlocked the disc launcher, so now we permanently have that in our arsenal. So that's pretty cool. Let's just save here. What's next? I think, is it alleys and gullies that's next? Let's t I'm testing my knowledge before we before we even see it, what one is next. That's just me scratching my leg. Yeah, alleys and gullies, so I did get it. Uh, this one is one of them kind of ones where you either love it or you hate it even more so than the construction one. In my opinion, I used to like this, but over the years when I've played it so many times or gone through it, um, not really. Not not a big fan of this level anymore. It's a bit miserable as well and fucking creepy, to be honest. So anyway, thank you guys for watching uh, part four or five, whatever this is. I'm not even going to say parts anymore. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I will uh, and suggest other games that you might want me to let's play. And I will do so. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next part.